Show you something. Oh, praise, oh, praise. Shalom. Mosai, Christ bless. Hey, family, gather around. Gather around. We got some good news for you. We're going to give you the true gospel of who you are according to the Bible. Who, what's your name, brother? Maurice. Maurice. What's your name, sister? Tamise. 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 Maurice Tamise. All right. All praise to the Mosai. So we are here to show our people the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the children of the slave trade, and that's not what you are. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. But open up with this, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. Because for so, 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 for so long, Maurice and Therese, let me ask you a question. Uh, name some things that they call our people. If you were, draw, if you were like filling out a job application, what race would they call you? Black. Black? Isaiah 61 and 1. Black, that's good. What else? What do we call each other when we see each other? If you were seeing another so-called person of your same race, what would you address them as? Black is one of them. So niggas. Yeah, same thing. The N-word, call each other niggas. What else? African American, uh, Negro, colored, you name it underneath the sun. Whatever we Oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Whatever underneath the sun we're called. Well, why is that? When you see uh, someone of another race, why do they not refer to each other as seven different things when they see each other? Right. You wonder why? Because they're not the children of God. I'm going to show you something. Read what you got right here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 1. If you are a so-called black, a so-called Hispanic, or so-called a Native American, predominantly in this area, so-called blacks, the so-called Native Americans, well, the Bible is speaking to you. Read what you got. The Spirit of the Lord. God is upon me uh -huh. because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Right. So God has ordained the prophets to come out and teach his people, the broken people, the poor of our people. Give me the Isaiah chapter 14. Because the poor of our people, meaning poor in spirit, because we don't have any hope. Look what's going on in our communities. Look how the households are. And I'm speaking to the black race. I'm going to talk about the so-called blacks for a second. I'm speaking about just us and our households alone. Look what goes on. The house is all out of order. Crime is rampant. Crime is on the loose. Right. And why is that? Because we are out of order. I'm going to show you according to the Bible. The reason why we're out here is to restore to you who you really are and the way that you should go. That's Watch right. this. Isaiah chapter 14, last verse. This I'm going to show you that I'm just not talking about just uh, monetary wise. Let's talk about in spirit. Why are we poor in spirit? Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 32. Y'all sisters, listen up also. I'm going over your history and who you are today. Read what you got. What shall one then answer the messages of the nation? Isaiah chapter 14, the last verse. 32. Yeah, all praise. Read that. What shall one then answer the messages of the nation? Come on. That the Lord hath founded Zion. We are Zion, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, a.k.a. the Israelites. That's right. That's what you are. You are a Jew. You're not an African American. You're not black. Black is a color. It's not a nationality. Right. Okay? Read on. And the poor of his people. And the what? And the poor of his people. Why are we poor? I Give me Isaiah chapter 42. Uh, spoiled. Why are we poor? Why? Because, let me ask you a question. Y'all go to church on Sundays? Y'all don't go to church? Good. All praises to the Most High. Because the church system is one of the reasons why we are poor in spirit. Our people are not learning who they are and what they should be doing. The, the, the scripture says that knowledge should be on the priest's lips, meaning your pastor should be teaching you God's laws. Right. That's the only thing that should be coming out of his mouth. Not about a, a long, stretched out sermon about uh, uh, prosperity, because that's all church is. Right. All church is prosperity message, pass the collection plate around, and then go home. Right. That's all church is. Church is not an institution for God's people to learn who they are. At one point in time, the church was at the heart of the black community, as far as us gathering together. And got far as well as getting solutions, but not no no, not anymore. The church is the reason why we are poor in spirit. Right. Why? Because the church does not teach you who you are. That's Read right. what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42, and verse 22. Come on. But this is a people. This is a people. Come on. Robbed and spoiled. Why are we robbed and spoiled? Because everything that pertains to the Israelites, you don't even know who you are. 
It took for the Lord to bring the prophets out to show you who you are. That's right. I've been in church long time. Right. Long time since a little boy. And I've never heard what you're hearing right now, that right. we're the Israelites. That's right. And that God does not deal with every nation on the face of this earth. Right. Because if he did, if they did, they would be going through the same things that you go through today. That's right. They would they would have went through this right here. Y'all see these signs? Y'all see these signs? What other nation went through this? What other nation went through chattel slavery, being chained together, being lined up on top of each other on boats, on slave ships, our forefathers and foremothers uh, defecating, urinating on each other. Right. Most of them not even making it over here on this side of the earth. Right. Uh -huh. We are robbed and spoiled. We are destroyed because none of these institutions teach us our true history. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Uh -huh. They are all of them snared in holes. They are all of them snared in holes. And now I'm going to the prison system. For all of us black men, the majority of the prison system is filled with nothing but blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They say right now, uh, the state of Mississippi has the world's population of most people in prisons right now here in America, in the state of Mississippi alone. Over two million people that are incarcerated right now in the United States, and majority of the uh, jailhouses are filled up with our people. That's right. Why? Because of those traps and those snares and those holes. Those things, now give me uh, give me Psalms chapter 83, and I'm gonna show you what that's going into, those traps and those snares. Those traps and those snares begin in the womb of a black woman. Why? Because they convinced you, black woman, that hey, for any little reason, abort and terminate the pregnancy. Oh, well, I've been raped. I've been raped, so I'm not going to carry around a child of a rape victim system. Right. The percentage of rape victims, far as with uh, 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 abortions. The, the percentage is less than 1% sister. That's part of a, a, an illusion to get you to destroy our children from the womb, okay? Don't pay no mind to this is the devil. When the word comes out, the devil has to come and do his job, all right? So pay attention to me, all right? So the percentage of rape victims that get pregnant during the attack is less than 1%. It's just one of those snares and those holes that the so-called white man puts upon our people to destroy our children. Why? Because the children that come out of your womb, sister, are the children of the Most High God. The, 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 the seed that you carry, brother, is Brother Maurice, right? Brother Maurice, the seed that you carry is God's seed. That's right. And they want to destroy it before it even touches the earth. Right. That's part of those snares and those traps. And watch this. We're going to show you. Give me Psalm chapter 83. The nations hate God. And since they can't get the hot guy, guess who they attack? Yeah. Guess who they attack? Uh, oh, say it again? Uh, Us. Because they can't get to the most high God because they hate him, they attack his children. Right. We're going to read it. Thus saith the Lord, Psalms 83. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Come on. Keep not thy silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace. God, don't hold your peace. For us, what's going on? The prophet David, King David, was a prophet also, seeing in the spirit our oppression today. Read on. Be not still, O God, uh -huh. for lo, thy enemies make a tumult. They, thy enemies are making a tumult today against us. Why? Because they put crack in the hoods. Right. They put automatic weaponry that teenagers can get access to to kill each other. That's right. And they're not killing the white race. Right. We're killing each other with those weapons. That's right. Yeah. We're not harming each other, the other nations that are harming us. That's right. We're harming each other. Right. Which doesn't make sense. But that's part of that snare and that trap. That's right. Attack them while they're young. Show today homosexuality on a huge scale. Right. When we were coming up, you weren't seeing this homosexuality, this how rampant it is on television. You wasn't seeing that stuff on TV. Right. Come on now. We weren't seeing that stuff how it is up and direct and public in front of you. Right. Those are those snares and those traps and those holes. Because why? Because it's putting a spell on our people to believe that, hey, it's normal. Right. It's the way, it's the direction that the earth is going today. Is it good with God? That's the question. It's not. 
It is another snare and a trap. Why? Because if you are homosexual, how can you produce children? Mm. Ask yourself that question. Right. Right. How can you bring forth God's children on this earth? How can you bring forth the kingdom of God on this earth? Right. The gods that are going to be ruling this earth. Because right. right. believe it or not, the good news that we're preaching to you today, we're going to show you the say of the Lord, is that the so-called black man and his black woman, the Israelites, right. when we come in subjection under God's laws, we are going to rule this earth right. with an iron fist. Right. All that oppressed us are going to go underneath our feet. This is not going to happen to us anymore. This will happen to the nations that oppress us. That's right. I'm going to show you. Keep reading. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Uh -huh. And they that hate thee. And they that what? They that hate thee. The nations do not love us. That's right. They may provide certain types of health care. Mm -hmm. Food stamps. Government assistance. Government assistance. Mm -hmm. Why? To keep you on the stream to keep coming back. Right. That's right. They're not going to give you more than enough to get you to rise up above them. Why? Because we are their captives. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.